Hi, today I'm excited to present our paper, Meters Mixing Ambiguous Data with Soft Labels for Dynamic Facial Expression Recognition. Meters is a simple but very effective method for dynamic facial expression recognition, short for DFER, in, in the wild scenarios. Let's begin with the overview of this presentation. We'll start with a look at the main hurdle in our research, the ambiguity of facial expressions in dynamic scenarios. Take a look at the images on the screen. Here we have a single individual displaying expressions that could be interpreted as disgust, anger, or even neutrality. This ambiguity poses a significant challenge for accurate recognition. Now, one way to approach this problem is using soft levels, which can represent subtleties of dynamic facial expressions. However, we often hit a roadblock here due to the limited size of existing datasets. Our response to this is our novel data augmentation method called MIDAS, specifically for ambiguous facial expressions in DFER. MIDAS, which stands for Mixing ambiguous data with soft labels enhances DFER in, in the world settings despite the typical constraints of dataset size. DFER's impact is far reaching and practical, significantly improving how we interact with technology in daily life. It's crucial for human computer interaction aiding in everything from ensuring driver safety to educational software to individual learning needs. However, recognizing expressions in the wild presents a unique set of challenges due to ambiguity. Emotions are always clear cut. Multiple emotions can coexist at different intensities and changes over time. This complexity can make accurate DFER quite challenging. Our approach is the utilization of soft labels. Generally, soft label consists of probabilities for multiple emotions. The key advantage here is the ability to effectively capture the nuances of ambiguous facial expressions. This is an example of an ambiguous facial expression with a corresponding soft label. Soft labels allow us to assign probabilities to multiple emotions rather than categorizing an expression as just one emotion, which builds the complexity of human expressions more accurately. On the other hand, the primary challenge is the limited data available when dealing with a vast array of possible emotion combinations and their varying intensities. Adequate coverage of potential level combinations, each representing different emotions and their varying degrees, requires an enormous amount of data. To overcome this limitation, We've developed our simple yet powerful data augmentation method called MIDAS, which stands for Mixing Ambiguous Data with Soft Labels. MIDAS enhances our approach by incorporating a mixing strategy tailored for soft labels and dynamic facial expressions. It works by convexly combining pairs of video frames along with their associated soft labels. Our method is similar to MixUp, yet it differs to in two key aspects. Firstly, it's tailored for video data, not just static images. And secondly, it deals with soft labels rather than single, definitive grand tools cross labels, often referred to as hard labels. Additionally, our approach is designed to minimize visual risk particularly when the true hard level is unknown. To assess the effectiveness of our method, we put it to the test using a unique dataset known as DFEW, which stands for Dynamic Facial Expression in the Wild. DFEW is particularly notable as it's the only dataset that provides both hard and soft levels for each video clip. 
and it encompasses a wide range of challenging, ambiguous facial expressions. The data in DFEW is annotated with seven emotion classes. Here, you can see examples from the dataset. On the left, we have a clear expression with a strong, happy intensity. Meanwhile, the image on the right side showcases an ambiguous facial expression annotated with multiple emotions. This graph provides a statistical overview of the dataset. Here, we've calculated the proportion of each emotion class using the hard levels. As you'll notice, the distribution of emotion classes isn't uniform, it's skewed. Notably, instances of the disgust class are much fewer in number compared to the other classes. This slide compares our performance with other existing methods. We used two metrics, unweighted average recall, UAR, and weighted average recall, WAR. Looking at this table, you'll see UAR and WAR alongside the accuracy for each emotion class. Notably, our method, highlighted at the bottom, achieves the highest UAR and the second highest WAR. Additionally, it's important to highlight the accuracy per class, particularly for emotions like disgust and fear, which have smaller data sizes in the dataset. Our method significantly outperforms others in these categories. These results indicate that our method, MIDAS, is effective in improving the performance of DFER, especially the accuracy for emotion classes with smaller data sizes. We've also carried out several aberration studies and analysis. One key study explored the impact of applying a mixing strategy to dynamic facial expressions, but this time using hard labels. We expanded our research to include the FERV 39K dataset, which is large scale but only provides hard labels. We adapted MIDAS to work with these hard labeled video clips. The results are summarized in the table here. As you can see, our method achieves the highest UAR and ranks second best in WAR. These findings strongly suggest that MIDAS is effective, even when applied slowly to hard levels. To highlight MIDAS' effectiveness, we conducted two key experiments. In the first, we compared a model trained with MIDAS against models trained exclusively on hard or soft levels. The results, as shown in the table, demonstrate that our method surpasses others underlying MIDAS effectiveness. For the second experiment, we performed a cross dataset evaluation using the FFEW dataset. We trained models on DFEW and then tested them on AFEW. Here, MIDAS showed a superior performance in both UAR and WAR, outperforming models trained only on hard or soft levels. This suggests that MIDAS potentially improves the model's generalization ability to unseen conditions. We also explored how ambiguous facial expressions impact DFER performance. For this analysis, we split the original DFEW dataset into two categories, a clear expression and a mixed expression. The clear expression group excludes ambiguous facial data, while the mixed group includes both clear and ambiguous expressions. We ensure that both groups were of equal size. As the table illustrates, the model trained on the mixed expression group achieved higher scores. This suggests that uh, incorporating ambiguous data can enhance the FER performance. Here is a brief summary of our presentation. Thank you so much.